Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and today I'm going to talk a little bit about our notation 3 and previously uh, you have seen that we spoke about the notation on real number and then we spoke about the notation on vectors and then matrices and then we spoke about how we can have matrix with different rows and columns and how it is represented mathematically. All right, now today, based on these two uh, notation that we have already seen, we are going to talk about our third notation. And the third notation is here, A, element-wise multiplication with B, you know. So this is commonly called as Hadamard product. <laughs> it's a fancy name to also known as um, element-wise multiplication. And it's actually very simple. Uh, let's look into the next page. All right, so if you see here, Matrix A has four elements, one, two, three, and four, and matrix B also has four element, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if you also realize, based on the previous notation, all these numbers are actually uh, belong to real number space, correct? So, what is Hadamard product? It is nothing but the first element in column one and row one is one, and in matrix B, it is Five. So basically we are going to multiply 1 and 5. Similarly we are going to multiply 2 and 6, then 3 and 7, and then 4 and 8. Basically the corresponding elements will be multiplied together, as simple as that. So what do we get? We get 1 times 5, 2 times 6, 3 times 7, and 4 times 8. The result is 5, 12, 21, and 32. Alright, now you must be wondering, and that is exactly you know what we are going to discuss next is how to implement this in python and it's very straightforward as you can see only two lines of uh, the definition of the a and b matrix i just took a simple example and if you apply the function np dot multiply a comma b you get the res same result but the big question is right and something that will be uh, most tutorial or textbooks don't get too much into this is why do we need you know such fancy operations with some fancy symbols etc why do you need uh, anything like that and that is exactly uh, it seems i sometimes feel it's my responsibility to share it uh, you know with as many people as i can so for that i'll just uh, move to my google collab and on the first page you can see the example i've already shown okay you can also run it there oops my bad sorry all right, so you can see here that uh, I took an image data. It's just a random image where I just put the first three columns in this matrix as one and the next three columns as zero. Okay, and I just repeated it six times. So that basically it gives me a six by six image or I would also call it six by six matrix, right? And if I print it out, it would look something like this. So let's consider this as matrix A, all right? Then I have another filter okay or basically you can say I have another image whatever you would like to call it or you can say uh, another matrix B here I'm calling it as filter and it also has six by six values basically 36 elements all belong to real numbers and you can see the values are a bit different compared to my first matrix and here the values are 1 comma 1 0 0 minus 1 and minus 1 now once I plot this, that's when it is going to become really clear and apparent. So I'm going to first plot the matrix A, which is the image I'm calling it. So you can see uh, 111 Google Collab did some magic here, I don't know, uh, at this point of time. So the first three values, 111, appeared as yellow color, and the values 000 appeared as purple color here okay so far so good and if I plot my filter then you see three colors because I have one zero and minus one in my if you see here the first two columns are one one the second two were zero and zero and the third uh, sorry four, fifth and sixth elements were negative one so it appeared something like this okay but what am I trying to prove here or what is the intention behind having a filter or matrix B something like this and having an image something like this. Now this is the crux of or you can say the core concept of convolutional neural network. So in convolutional neural network 
the main intention is to identify shapes of objects right I would like to see the vertical edge here and I would like to identify this from an image now this portion of an image that you are seeing on my screen could be a part of a very large picture and I would need to identify how many vertical edges are there possibly right or how many horizontal lines are there and so on how many angular lines maybe at 45 degree and so on lines are there what I can do is I can then change my filter accordingly and if you notice here when I took the values I purposefully took it in such a way that you know the left in the middle of the column there is a zero so that I can quickly you know find out the vertical edge right this is a rather a very simple example does not go too much into the convolution part of it because in a convolution your filter size will be much smaller but here I took it the same size as my image right just for the demonstration of what exactly an element wise a multiplication means and where do we actually use it and that is the whole intention behind this not to teach you convolution of course we'll cover those topics down the line somewhere right but not right now all you need to understand is the purpose of doing element wise multiplication and this is when you see when you do an element wise multiplication the result is stored in a uh, variable z and you can see if I plot the resultant image I got back my original image with of course a wider purple range the reason being in image processing you would like to identify the uh, you know vertical edge using the same approach now that my resultant image where I multiplied my um, matrix A with matrix B I was able to identify where somewhat nearby where my edge could be because it's a small image that's why it seems like the the purple portion is taking too much of the image and the yellow is sucked in in the left corner but imagine if it were a you know thousand by thousand pixel image it the difference would not be that noticeable you see my point so that is where exactly you know we learned about and that is why we are learning about element wise multiplication and it is going to be very much handy if you take course uh, such as convolution neural network from Coursera I have put the link in the description which I definitely recommend you to take Andrew Ng took this example of uh, you know teaching convolution neural network and I definitely recommend you to take that course because nowadays convolution neural network is used almost in every image processing project all right so I believe uh, you know you learned something new today and you are now familiar with the notation of a element wise multiplication which is this portion in the middle right a b uh, with a dot in between next maybe we'll cover the dot product but right now I wanted to cover uh, uh, element wise multiplication also known as Shar uh, that another mathematician uh, Shar who introduced used this concept of uh, element wise multiplication all right so I hope you learned something new today and I'll talk to you next time until then have a great day